Assalamu alaikum dear doctors in this video I am discussing a video station so first we will watch the video then I will discuss what type of question we are expecting from this video station First question is that what I observe in this video I can see a child who is vomiting the vomitus color is green in color and someone is comforting the child uh, back messaging also we have seen there is abdominal distension and on the uh, radiologically there is finding of um, multiple air fluid level dilated bowel loop so on probable top diagnosis is intestinal obstruction what are the differential diagnosis of intestinal obstruction these are Volvulus, it can be intestinal malrotation, sepsis, intersusception, gastroenteritis, paralytic ileus, toxic megacolon, intraabdominal abscess, hernia, adhesions, superior mesenteric artery, occlusion, intestinal malignancy, appendicitis, and cold stones. Next question, what history we would like to ask in intestinal obstructions? These are the onset course and duration, what increase and what decrease. Then any vomiting, its amount, color, is it green, and content of the vomitus. Constipation, recurrent. Any red current jelly stool, intermittent nausea relieved by vomiting, abdominal pain, colic, abdominal distension, and fecal incontinences. Then any fever, weight loss, affection of sleep and activity. Also the consciousness of the fluid, number of the going to toilet, feeding habits, any tears, dry mouth, bruises, hepatosplenomegaly, and lymphadenopathy. Shortness of breath and eulage, discoloration of the sclera. Next question is that what examination you would like to do. So the examination I'd like to do the ABC, airway breathing and circulation, vitals, very important, hydration status and evidence of any shock, capillary refill time, skin targor, shanken eyes. Then abdominal examination for rigidity, ascites, organomegaly, any palpable mass for rectal impaction. Then the palpate for focal tenderness including the guarding and rebound tenderness on palpation. Then percussion may give a tympanic sound and auscultation may reveal the Tinkling bowel sounds, both signs characteristics of the bowel obstruction. Then rectal examination for empty rectum or gush of gases. Then what investigation you would like to do in intestinal obstruction? So the investigation I would like to do, full blood count, which is, can be showing leukocytosis, ESR, CRP, liver function test, albumin, lactate will be high. Then urea and electrolyte showing the hyponatremia and hypokalemia with metabolic alkalosis in case of proximal obstruction and acidosis in case of strangulation. Then urine analysis for color of the urine and its content like glucose, protein, RBC or WBC. Then X-ray abdomen showing multiple air fluid level. Then ultrasound or CT abdomen showing accurate method for small intestinal obstruction diagnosis. Then air or barium anemia. So an air or barium anemia allows for enhanced imaging of the colon. About the management, how can we manage the intestinal obstruction? So admission, nothing per oral NPO, nothing... Uh, IV fluid, resuscitation, if shocked, then urinary cath. Then NG tube to control the vomiting initially. Venting gastrostomy. In a fit patient with gastroduodenal or jejunal obstruction and persistent vomiting may relieve symptoms. Then total parental nutrition, TPN, is only appropriate for a very small group of patients with a longer prognosis after some specialist advice. Then thus stop the medication, reducing peristalsis. These are if patient taking cyclizine, hyoscine, 5-HT3, antagonist or amitriptyline. Then we should stop them. Then laxatives are often needed. Treatment of the paralytic ileus use a prokinetic antimetic, for example, SC metoclopramide 30 mg to 120 mg for 24 hours. Stop if colic develops. Caution in use of prolonged higher doses. Monitor for extrapyramidal side effects. Then analgesics up to the fentanyl patch for controlling stable moderate to severe pain in patients with or at risk of peristaltic failure in less constipating than morphine or oxycodone. Then barium or air anemias is used both as a diagnostic procedure and a treatment for children with intersusception. Then treatment for partial obstruction with low fiber diet and if failed, so surgical correction and dexamethasone parenterally for 4 to 7 days. Then treatment of complete obstruction is the decompression by surgical or endoscopic evacuation or stent if colon cancer. Then surgical intervention is indicated in patient with suspicion of intestinal ischemia or closed loop bowel obstruction. Then a cause that requires surgical correction such as a strangulated hernia or obstructing tumor. If patients fail to improve with conservative measures typically after more than or equal 48 hours. So the last question what are the complications of intestinal obstruction can be developed. So the complications may develop bowel peritonitis, bowel ischemia, 
bowel perforation leading to fecal peritonitis mortality then severely intravascular fluid depletion resulting in acute kidney injury and other in organ injury so this is all about the video station intestinal obstruction please do subscribe and share mrcpch with dr emma thank you